coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Today I'm here with my Sephora VIB sale recommendations. Now, fair warning, this video is going to be long and wordy and super informal because what I decided to do instead is I was like, I'm going to do a Sephora haul and I'm going to show you what I get and what I recommend, but that's not how I handle the VIB sale. So I was like, I need to tell my pandas what the purpose of the VIB sale is. Like, what's the purpose of the sale? How you could get the best deal out of the sale or how to take advantage of it so that you actually feel like maybe you're saving money. So what I decided to do was scour through my collection, my bathroom, my vanity, and just think about things that I really like that I've repurchased or that I am planning on repurchasing or some items that I've heard talked about here on YouTube and I'm dying to try and that's what I'm going to get. So if I already have the product, I will insert a swatch if it's relevant or I will insert a close up of the product. Um, if I'm using the product in a clip or I've taken a picture using the product or something, I'll insert that as well. So I'll kind of give you guys some background or feedback or proof as to why I love this product or why it's worth investing in. And there are also a couple products that I've been dying to try but I've been waiting for the sale because let's be honest, I don't need anything else at all in my life. Um, so before we get started, I wanted to do a quick little announcement. Um, next month I'm going to have, actually, when are you seeing this video? Sometime in the upcoming weeks, I'm going to do a video in collaboration with Ebates. Not this one, an upcoming video is going to be in collaboration with Ebates. Now in order to get something very, very, very awesome, from that video, you guys do have to be an Ebates user. Basically, next in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be doing a video where they're going to give you guys a gift card worth a lot of money. And if you guys wanna enter that giveaway, you'll need to be um, users of Ebates. And if you're unfamiliar, I've talked about Ebates before. In fact, that's something that I wanna to touch on in this video if you're going to participate in the VIB sale. Ebates is a rebate program. It's absolutely free, there's no catch, you don't need to provide your social, none of that stuff. I know a lot of times we're a little bit nervous. All of the clothing shopping that I do, like from Kohl's, Target, things like that, I buy them online. And I go through Ebates, I use the desktop little toolbar button icon thing, um, or I use the app on my cell phone. So there's many ways to remember to use Ebates. And the way it works is if you're going to shop online, you go to the Ebates website first, find the retailer, and then click over to the site. Or if you've already installed the little toolbar button, you just click on it once you're on the site and you activate like the notification where you're telling Ebates, hey, I'm using you by the way. And a day or two later, you get an email that confirms how much money you got back. So every purchase that you make, you'll get anywhere from 1% cash back to like 10% cash back. I actually just bought flowers for my mom for her birthday. Um, and I got 10% cash back just by using Ebates. Another cool thing that you may not have noticed is they also list uh, promo codes in the description of the Ebates site when you're under that retailer. So that's something uh, that maybe you haven't noticed and it'll be an extra way to save money. So if you guys wanna be eligible to participate in the giveaway that's coming up in a few weeks for a big gift card, um, then you wanna make sure that you are an Ebates user. And in order to do that, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Just register there. Don't worry, it's safe, I promise. I use it myself and I make a pretty penny every few months because I online shop for everything. You guys have two little boys. Going out to the store feels like I'm enlisting in war. It's crazy. Anyway, so I will leave a link in the description box below. Make sure you sign up there. Another reason you wanna sign up is because if you're gonna be participating in the VIB sale, you wanna make sure that you get more than 20% off your purchase. So the VIB sale with Sephora means Oh my God, It's I think it's twice a year where they give you a promo code if you're a VIB, um, if you're a VIB for Sephora. 
and that promo code is worth 20% off. You could use it over and over and over and over and over again through an extended period of time. I will leave the dates in the description box below. The VIB Rouge members get to go first, which is I think November 4th through the 7th, and then the VIBs go after that, and then the Beauty Insiders go after that, I believe. It's kind of like like a race where you get a head start just because you spend a lot more money than other people. <laughs> so instead of just getting that 20% off using your promo code, what if you could get cash back in addition to that? So it's gonna be basically like you're getting 24% off or 28% off. I don't know what percentage Sephora will be that day that you decide to shop, but it's better than just 20, right? Anyway, that's just me influencing more purchases for you guys. So how do I shop the VIB sale? For me, the VIB sale is my opportunity to get products that I don't need but really want, really like, really want to try or on the are on the pricier side of things. So if it's something that's a little bit more expensive than, you know, I don't know, your average purchase of makeup and you feel a little bit guilty, that's when you take advantage. If you've been wanting to try like a NARS Audacious lipstick, that's when you take advantage. You know, if you've been wanting to try the new Urban Decay Naked Basics Ultimate whatever bigger palette, that's when you get it. So let's go ahead and get started with my VIB recommendations. I'm gonna start off with lip products first because lip products have been something on my mind for the last few weeks, probably months. I'm so excited when fall's here because I get to wear those like terracotta burnt oranges, browns and vampy colors and all that stuff. And I just, I love any opportunity to use that kind of lip color. So my very first formula of lipstick that I want to recommend that you take advantage of during this VIB sale is the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. In particular, Mona and Jane. So I'm going to insert some swatches of these two colors for you guys. These are colors that I picked up at the makeup show Dallas just a month or two ago. Definitely must-haves for the fall and winter. They're beautiful colors and they look amazing on all skin tones. Moving on to Urban Decay. Not Urban Decay anything because I don't know if you guys are familiar but Urban Decay redid their entire lipstick line. Now they have like 2,000 different colors. Just kidding, I think there's 100. <laughs> and they're all categorized by formulation. Specifically go into the Comfort Matte formula and pick any color that you want because they're all winners. But my top three recommendations for the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks in the Comfort Matte range are Disturbed, Backtalk, and Hitchhike. You guys, they don't look alike. Neither, none of them look like one or the other. One is like a movie pink, one is a deep, 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 deep vampy shade, and then the other one is a burnt orangey rose color because you guys know how I feel about that color. And then for the last lip product recommendations, I'm gonna say you need to pick up some of the Smashbox, and let me get this name right because I always, I just say the matte ones. <laughs> the Smashbox Always On Matte Liquid Lipsticks. If you're like Danny. Lipsticks are so two years ago. I need a liquid lipstick, a matte liquid lipstick. Definitely Smashbox. I've tried so many, and I'm one of those beauty vloggers that's gonna be like, listen, liquid matte lipsticks aren't comfortable. They're not that comfortable. If you have perfect lips and they're smooth and beautiful, yeah, you're gonna make all matte liquid lipsticks look amazing, but if you have wrinkly lips like me, Team Raisin Lips, there's very few that are gonna do us justice. So, the Smashbox Always On Matte Liquid Lipsticks are winners. My favorite one of all of them is the shade Out Loud, but the red one called Boss, uh, which is in collaboration with Lily Singh here on YouTube, is amazing as well. Like the classic cherry red, it's beautiful. Um, and there are others, what is this one? Um, stepping out. Stepping out is also a really beautiful color. So kind of shop around, look at all the shades that they have. Maybe find one that would 
look best on your skin tone, but the formula is what matters, you guys. So the formula of the Smashbox is awesome. Two more makeup products, and I really, really wanted to just condense it down to stuff that I've really been liking or really, really, really want to try. And so these are two products that I've fully, fully enjoyed. In fact, one of them since last year, and now that it comes in this format, you guys, you're gonna go bananas. So, Makeup Forever relaunched their Pro Light Fusion Highlighters. These are highlighters that came out last year, but they were split pans. It had half bronze or two thirds bronzer and then one third highlighter. And it came in the shade one and the shade two. Shade one was like a pearly baby pink highlight. Shade two was gold. And so everyone lost their poop over these highlighter combos. But this year, they relaunched them and it's just one giant pan of highlighter. Now, each pan is $39. So if you were like, yes, I've been wanting to try that highlighter, now is your chance because you can get it in the full pan and you can get it with 20% off. Another product that I almost feel guilty recommending you guys try is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick and Brush. I know, I know, I'm usually one that says you don't need the bells and whistles, but you guys, as a fully declared, I will only use a beauty blender for the rest of my life fan, this foundation brush is, this brush is amazing. Like it's incredible with this foundation. So I would only recommend this foundation for those of you that are fans of full coverage, for those of you that probably don't have dry skin, normal to oilier skin. Um, and for those of you that really want that flawless, full coverage, like it's a mask on your face, but doesn't look like a mask. That sounded negative. It's not, it's a really great thing. I'm gonna insert a picture of me wearing it with no filter, no editing, nothing. This is just how it sits on my skin. It feels like you're wearing a full coverage foundation, but the way it makes you look, you're like, who cares? Like, I really don't care, it looks amazing. Now, because it's a $46 foundation, it has like half an ounce of product, and then the brush is $46. That's almost a $100 purchase for a foundation that doesn't have even a full ounce. So, do you use as much product as you would with a liquid foundation? Nope, you put on a couple swipes, and then with this magical unicorn brush, you blend it in, and boom, it just, you guys, it's awesome. I feel guilty recommending that, but I'm like, hey, well, it's the VIB sale. You're gonna get a discount, which you don't usually get. Plus, if you use Ebates, that's even a further discount on top of that. Okay, now let's take a break from makeup and focus on skincare and hair care. Um, you guys have heard me talk about the Amica Undone Texture Spray, so much so that you probably hate me by now, but, Amika is a salon hair care brand that is also carried at Sephora. I'm not sure if it's in store. I believe it's online. So perfect opportunity to shop online, use Ebates, and get your discount, right? So that texture spray is fantastic, phenomenal, amazing for those of you that have three hairs like me. Um, it smells really good. It is a prestige hair care brand, but if you can take advantage using the sale, then it might be a chance for you to stock up. You guys, I may not be exaggerating when I say I have three in my shopping cart right now. Just kind of waiting to pull the trigger because the VIB sale is in a few days. <laughs> then, along with those three texture sprays sitting in my shopping cart, I may have two, maybe three, dry bar detox dry shampoos. Another product for people like me that have dark brown hair, um, have three hairs, but an extremely greasy popcorn movie theater, butter theater situation nastiness happening. Like I took a shower this morning and look how bald I am, you guys. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, so that dry shampoo is amazing. It doesn't give me the white cast, I tried this trick that one of you guys told me. You said, hey, put the dry shampoo in your hair before you go to sleep, and I guarantee you'll wake up the next morning with normal hair. 
Girl, whoever said that to me, I am building you a shrine in my backyard because that was the best thin, greasy hair hack I have ever gotten from anyone. It's made such a big difference. So I need three of those in my shopping cart. Now let's talk about a hair care wish list item. This might make you faint a little bit. It might give you heart palpitations. It might even give you an infarction, but I really want to try the Dyson hair dryer. I do. And I'm trying to convince myself that I deserve it. I have a hair dryer right now that's probably four years old. It's on its last leg, and the only reason it's dying, I had a hair dryer. My, okay, rewind. My flat iron is like 20 years old. That's how well I take care of my things. The hair dryer that I'm using is only four years old, and it should last just as long as my flat iron, but I have a little guy that loves to get into things, and he dropped my hair dryer probably once a month for the last four years of his life. So it's kind of on its last leg. I know one of these days it's just gonna like explode. So I was like, well, I need to get a new hair dryer anyway. I love my Dyson vacuum. I love that it doesn't heat up. I love that it's not heavy. I mean, it's not like the weight matters because look at these, look at these pythons. Never mind. Um, so I really want to try it. And every time a place has a sale or a coupon, at the bottom it says excludes Dyson. The BIB coupon doesn't say that. So this might be my only chance, you guys. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. I've seen reviews and they're either stellar or really, really bad. So I don't know. I want to I want to make sure it's really good. I mean, it's a $400 hair dryer. Maybe that alone should just tell me no. Step away from the ledge, Denny. Step away. <laughs> Moving on to skincare recommendations. Let's talk about the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. I've officially been using it for about a month and I love it. It's amazing. It's amazing, incredible. I love it. I wish I could tell how much product was in there or basically how much was left because the packaging is a little confusing and I'm like, uh, do I still have more? Should I buy a backup? Like, it's an $80 serum, you know? Should I... A lot of you guys told me when I did my skincare haul that uh, I should have waited until the VIB sale. I got 20% off of it when I bought it from Derm Store. So, now that I can get 20% off of it again at Sephora, maybe I should get a backup. Because it's not like I'm going to be switching up my skincare all the time, right? I'm going to be using it consistently for the next as long as it'll have me. <laughs> and then the Drunk Elephant Shaba Complex Eye Serum. That's a little bit trickier for me to see if it's working. Has it been comfortable? Yes. Does it absorb beautifully? Yes. Is my little inner eye crust coming back? No. And that crust in my eye, that dry patch, only my loyal OG pandas know what I'm talking about. If you guys have been following me since the beginning of my channel, you know I have like a little eczema or dry patch of skin on the inner corner of my eyelid that only comes back if I stop using my special moisturizer that I'm about to tell you or during the really, really, really strong fall or winter season. If it's like an intense season, it comes back no matter what, even if I use my crazy super duper moisturizer eye cream that I'm about to tell you. So my fear was if I start using this Shaba Complex or whatever eye serum from Drunk Elephant, it's gonna come back. If it's not a good thing, if it's not a good product, it's going to come back. Good news, it hasn't. So in that video, some of you guys asked me as well, what is your holy grail eye cream that you keep talking about? Because for me, finding an eye cream took me like two or three years to find like the one, the one that did it all for me and that I could put all over my eyelid. A lot of eye creams are only for this area. Make sure you guys find an eye cream that's for the entire orbital bone area, including your eyelids. So the Derma Doctor Wrinkle Revenge Eye Balm is a $50 eye balm. It lasts me three to four months, consistently three to four months, and I use it twice a day. Um, and it's amazing. If you guys suffer from dry skin, aging skin, you have skin sensitivity, whatever, it's a great, great, great product. So 
you can get it on sale, girl, you better jump on it. And my last wish list item, this is an item that I don't have and I really, really, really want to get, is the Moschino Fresh Couture Perfume. Okay, I wish it didn't look like a Windex bottle, let me be honest. Like, I wish this perfume didn't look like a Windex bottle, but it smells like I need it in my life. If you guys are unfamiliar with this scent, here are the notes. Bergamot, Mandarin, Lang Lang, and Raspberry. Basically, if you guys are like a fruity fresh type girl, you're gonna like this one. But I don't know how I'm gonna feel about having a little Windex bottle playing with all my other perfume bottles that have like flowers on it and like beautiful ribbons and like a velvet bow and it's like a Windex bottle. But it's an $82 perfume so maybe I need to take advantage right now that I could use my discount. Anyway, so those are my VIB sale recommendations and wishlist items. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will list and link them in the description box below. Do not forget when you shop to use Ebates and if you guys wanna be eligible to participate in the Ebates giveaway coming up in the next few weeks, you probably wanna make sure you got that registration under your belt just to save some time. So don't forget to sign up to be an Ebates user, you guys. You're gonna save a lot of money. Even if you just need to send flowers once a year, you guys, you're already gonna be getting cash back. Anyway, all that stuff will be listed and linked in the description box below. And like always, if you guys found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.